All right. Hey, hey, don't don't jump the gun. Don't jump the gun. Here's your map bands in for today. Quick band in and out, Ilios, Coliseo, and Watchpoint, Gibraltar. Interesting. A lot of high ground oriented maps. And with Kings banned out in the middle. So where does that lead us? Where today's map pool? It's Oasis Midtown, Runasapi, New Junk City, and Circuit Royale. Yep, a lot of ground to pound. Does that mean we just get the Arisa match up here today? Does Vittori or Akari want to bring out something new, something different? Tori and Connie both showing us the diva right out of the gate. Okay, we're gonna get the Juno Zen coming in here from Wasp. We're gonna get the traditional, well, more traditional Juno Brig, but we do have Lauren in on the uh, on the main. So unusual pick here for for City Center. We do have some chokes to work around. Oh, and even things like that. Isolate the DPS from the front line and all focus down onto Connie right out of the gate. And we see the value of that main wall initially right first fight. Although Hev does eventually get that kill on Lauren. Still have to think of advantage here to uh, here to quick with it if they got that D-neck. Are they able to do anything with it? Three players here on point from Wasp. As the attack comes in from Tori. Just right on to Ilpi to take the Discord, the Zen, out of the match immediately. Yoham's able to pick up a kill on the back of that as well. So, there you go. Quick is patiently able to move through, pick up this first fight, and grab first control along the way. Very sound first fight, and then you may pick. You know, perhaps catching catching Wasp a little bit by surprise. Haven't seen a whole lot of May on this map in particular. Not that we, I mean, the May cast is still pretty popular in the meta. Uh, but the May Genji is a bit of a different look. QRC with Kati immediately trying to move down into Tori, but the call is made into the back line. Trying to run down the hit scan, and QRQ gets overwhelmed. Pulse Bomb in from Hev. Doesn't hit the mark, but Hev's still going to follow up with a kill on Bo Shrever as well as Ken. So, giving the advantage on over. Uh, ooh, as the Orbital Ray thrown in from Quick defensively. Thrown backwards as Tori was trying to backpedal in it. But there was also one up from Fate as well as a transcendence from Ilpi in that fight. So, double support ults from Wasp will give him the win. That's funny how that works, eh, buddy? Ow. <laughs> Push into the back line. Kid's gonna go ahead and pull off the blade here. All the retake. Oh, that's that. It was not Ken Pop. There we go. That was some Ken Pop. Works out well. The one ult invested. And that is. Ooh, what happened here? Okay. It was just him stalling on the point. What happened there? Oh, LP! I had a feeling that was about to happen. LP backs up from behind the barrier just at the last second. Gets hit by that self destruct. Kind of falling back, kind of peel for QRQ. Make sure they don't lose two through that mishap. 75% on the board here for quick. The wall up, kind of trying to separate from kind of good pulls lands on a Ken though. Man, stick it a Genji, no easy feat. Blizzard in from Warm, but Connie is able to just kind of muscle through. Still, oh no! Tori pushes Connie off the side. All oh, the divas end up down in the pit.
Support all fight coming up. It'll be after uh, swapping off that Zen is a little bit behind in that regard. And Fate used their orbital in that last fight. So a clear advantage here for Quick in that regard with 95% on the board. Getting in the face of QRXU, Tori will gobble up the dead eye while the rally from Shriver enables the kill. Three of those. Uh, actually, it's a two for one trade favoring Quick at the moment. So 4v3. I didn't see where the orbital ray went, but it seems to have worked, as I'm seeing pretty much nothing but red shirts. He's kind of comes in over the top, try to stall this out for as long as possible. We'll take it to 99-99 with the self-destruct thrown on the inside. Yo, hey, I'm a... Okay. Somehow gets hit by that. So it's going to be a self-destruct in the hallway just to try to keep everybody else back. Lauren comes up with a kill on the back of that. And we're going to get the blade here from Ken to seal the deal. Oh, quick teleport. What a roll up there for quick. I love that we're going to the back stairs. The creative, creative roll. A little, little bit of change. And so all these years later, we're finding new ways to, to approach these maps. And that clever maneuver will get quick esports first uh, high ground position. And they're just going to leverage right, right into another great main wall and kill on the QRXU. Pouncing into that back hallway. They do try to uh, Shrebber in this exchange. But quick, keyboard, quick have all of the space they need here to get this first cap. It will back up. Let's try to get back in this fight. Ooh, have, it's going to come contested at the last second. So they deny this cap. Wall behind Connie. And they're able to just fly up and out of it. Eventually, Quick will just kind of tenaciously move through. Make sure they're getting some percentage. But Connie with a quick assassination move finds Lord here in the beginning of this second fight. Quick are going to move their way to the outside, fighting the courtyard here around this mega. QRXU coming in and put a couple shots down. Ooh, might have been off more than they can chew. Ooh, I, I stand corrected. QRXU had the perfect meal set before them. VP Peps, 2-0. All right, good to know. Appreciate the update. Over the right thrown out over the middle of the point. That's Ilpi in the back with that Matrix, but just gets absolutely run down. Oh, and now we're going to get Fate investing their orbital right late into this fight. So two support ults invested here from Wasp Ono to try to hold on to this. It was a great eat from a Tori to make sure that uh, Hev can't swing this fight the other direction as they have previously. Uh, that's a tree. Investing both support ults into that fight could absolutely end up costing Wasp here on the back of this. Fed will go down. Kin with the Blades already picked up one. The QRXU does get that pick. QRXU and Connie both very low as Trevor pops it. Let me get a proper camera angle here. Props to the rally. All right, three back on point. Ken and Connie moving back on the objective. QRXU still in this fight. QRXU is going to fight Lauren immediately. They're going to follow this up. It was such a broken fight. I don't think Quick wanted to invest into it. Lauren decided to hold on to that blizzard. And it ends up turning in this very messy brawl. We'll say all the while Quick is building percentage through this.
Over to Ray advantage here for Johan by about 30%. And still have that blizzard to work with as they look to push back in. PRXU blocked by the wall. The dash is absolutely ambushed by three players. The orbital ray up top. And Connie can just do nothing but sit and watch. Now in a 1v5, just trying to get this percentage as much as they can. I say, I say that. It's a 2v5 until uh, Hev is going to end up going down, as does Connie. There's the flip. Dive into the back. Hev is already underneath. Blizzard out. Ooh, and that got at least two in it. Hev never found a chance to throw in the pulse. And that just might be the end of the map right there. Fate's going to throw in Orbital. Try to keep Connie alive through this. Self-destruct up in the window. Oh, and Connie is just absolutely surrounded. Hev made it back on. Could not quite find the pulse. Any other touches? No more touches. Quick eSport, we'll take map one. All right, let's get some stats there for map one. <clears throat> I'll get quick their point on the board. Hey, no, show me all, I don't want just some of the stats, show me all the stats, thank you, thank you. All right, let's go take a look at the bands we have. Remind ourselves what was banned out here. Assuming I can find the right button. It was King's Row banned out here for Wasp. Oh no, heading into map two. Mint Town. Picked here by Quick. We'll be starting us off on the defense. Okay, we are going to stick with the uh, with the May Genji look, but Hattori going over to the Ramatra. We haven't seen as much Ramatra as I kind of expected after the nerfs to Arisa and Ramatra getting reverted back to the original um, use of those uh, those punches of the pummel to be able to pass through barriers. Can I bring out another tank hero that we've actually seen a bit of a rise in, and that is the Junker Queen. Uh, the battlefield control of the JQ. Uh, proving very valuable, but defense catching this aggression right out of the gate. Ooh, get the hev Genji. Most of the time I've seen Wasp, uh, we've seen Hev play in the Tracer. So the hev Genji is kind of a new look here. They try to combo that with the cast on the other side. But first attack falls flat. It's back to the drawing board. Kind of goes off the JQ onto the Eraser just for a little bit more sustain and staying power here throughout these fights. Oh, but Ken has already dove in to pick up one. QR actually does peel and at least trade that out. 
Oh, but QRX won't survive. As the headshot from Lauren combined with the Doritos of Victoria will put them down. And this defense is going to pursue these picks. Nemesis form is popped. Ooh, that spear was just in the nick of time to save fate from a horrible, well, fate. And fate's able to respond. Pick up a kill on the Yoham. Victoria can't lock down that kill. Knew they needed to back out and couldn't get out in time. Torn between the two decisions, end up caught in the middle. And it looks like Waspo, no, has found the space they needed here to start getting the percentage. They got all five players here as well. Orbital Ray to work with and 25% ahead of the defense. Ooh, Wasp had an opportunity, but a great headshot there. He's going to put him fighting from a deficit here as they do invest their ray into this, but they don't have the teeth to get past. Despite the extra damage without the hit scan, this defense stands tall. Great opening pick from Lauren. Gets the blizzard as well, just to make life even more difficult. Oh, it does it again on the same exact player. All right, Lord. We'll, we'll just leave it on some May pop here for this one. You know what? A shield may not block a terror surge, but a May wall certainly will. Orbital right now invested here from Quick, and they're going to continue to tighten their chokehold around this firehouse. Hev does make it out and, and get a kill up swap back over to this tracer. More into their comfort zone. And we'll eventually evict Quick Esports out of their spawn. Not before quite a bit of... Uh, the time is beating off the clock. Tori does go ahead and invest the head annihilation in. That was, that was a pretty late annihilation, I will say. That was pretty late. But Tori does change over to Zarya, so we do get a bit of an explanation for that kind of 1v5 annihilation there at the end. Bubble on the kid, blade out. Ooh, is the Katana gonna be able to find any purchase? Does not look like it, used mostly for defense and still can't survive. Tucked down behind a car, QRX2. Well, actually it was Connie who found that kill, QRX2 found Warren. Rally dropped down from the defense as they're gonna try to fight this 3v5, but the Pulse will land on a stripper and deny the rally altogether. And Wasp have put together a very substantial attack here. Significant progress picked up. It'll still take one more to push it all the way home. Orbit already invested into that, but a blizzard over the point. QRX here does not have the benefit of that fortify. And just stay there watching. Connie was trying to keep him alive. Now circling back around as both tanks are looking for picks. And it's Connie and Wasp who are going to find them. Good to know, Mata Blum. I have no word on Ostrix. May just not be available today. Um, or it could be, I mean, you know, Wrecking Ball is just not strong enough. I, I don't know exactly. The transcendence from LP doing work is it's able to outlast the orbital raid from the Oham, and this is Wasp putting up another fight win. Is they they've been continuing to roll here. That fishing on that far right side has been forced all the way around. Trevor decides the Zenyatta is a good way to go, and Lauren has come off the May onto the Ash to find that first pick. Hev pushing in, Terra Surge out of the back, and Ken ends up going down. Grabbing the last ditch effort there from Hattori, but it's enough for Ken to be able to move in and find four before it's all said and done. Ken's Genji will put an end to this push from Wasp, and not a moment too soon.
Kind of making a swap over to a Sigma. Okay. Vittoria comes off of the off the Zarya and back onto that Ramatra. The tank roulette does continue here. They try to outmaneuver each other. Oh Lord! Another good opening pick. What is this? Like the fourth time Lauren has gotten first blood on the QRXU specifically, be it with the May or with the Ash. Oh, and a beautiful kill out of LP as well, just to buy some more time off the clock. And here at this 90 second mark, each of those seconds are becoming very, very precious. You're actually trying to outrange here with the Widow. Whoop. Strubber almost repaked that. Got he's able to find Ken up on the high ground. And that, that just takes the blade out of this fight. Takes a, a lot of the edge off of this defense. Pun very much intended. Now it's kind of in a desperate move. You see Ken hanging out right on the side, waiting for reinforcements to the last possible second. Vittori is there to anchor, but a transcendence on the point. This is, well, I mean, that, that's a, a lot of, of transcendencing. Lauren was pushing off that angle. Thought might have one here. Came back in this fight with the blade. Dives into their own orbital and immediately two swipes, two kills, no supports. Left standing here for Wasp. 15 on the clock. And really nothing in the bank. Both support ults were vested there. Fate throwing that orbital in late into that fight. And Quick is going to make a hold here at the back of this uh, trade station. All right, after a, a bit of uh, tank rotations, both teams settling into the Arisa. Here as Quick goes on to the attack. Lauren sticking with that Ash. These opening picks were so crucial for their defense in making this stop. When Wasp had a lot of momentum going, it was first picks from Lauren that shut it down. One pull the trigger. I already have Ilpi low in that top window. Uh, Ilpi hanging out in Firehouse. And just forced to sit back for a moment. Does allow the Discord to fade, and Hattori takes that opportunity to try to push in and grab some space. Ken's able to pick up the kill. Have thought about pushing into that back line, but it is secure. QRXU trying to put shots in from up top. Hattori not giving up any space here. Connie and QRXU are going to wait this one out. It becomes off of the Zenyatta onto a Moira. Get back in this fight. A little added survivability. Perhaps pressure on to Ken as well. Defense seem kind of hold up in this corner. Strebber's going to fight LP on, on that corner. Strebber with two. Strebber is in here kicking everybody in the behind. Get him, Strebber. Ostrich touching grass. Overwatch players touching grass in this economy? Unreal. Unreal. I appreciate you being here, Ostrix. I hope everything's going well, my friend. 
We do miss seeing you on the battlefield. Best ball in EMEA. Shrepper is having a field day on the Zenyatta. Holy cow. Between Zebra, uh, Shrepper and Lauren, like, this has just turned into a pick comp. They have officially turned, like, this kind of combo, um, ultimate-oriented, like, very teamwork-heavy composition into a straight pick comp. Don't do that. That's not what I wanted the camera to do. Ooh, cool orbit array thrown right over that entrance into the terror surge. Immortality feel perfect though out of Ilpi. As so far they're able to keep everybody alive. Ilpi will eventually fall. Rotation out of Wasp, try to get to his high ground. Kin challenging. Has to jump down once the deflect fades. But Tori picks up Hev along the outside. So control and ground level. Tori and Shrever have, uh, have just commanded some space here. In fact, all of Quick still standing in what is a flawless run through point B. Have the assassin already moved in to find Lauren. Whoop. I love that little back hallway. Not utilized nearly enough in low ranks. Good pick by Hev to start this one off. You can see Streber marked there in the back line. Hev is on it. That will force Transcendence out. Not a, not a bad move here. You're, you're not too displeased with that if you're a Wasp. Hev's still kind of entrenched back here behind the, uh, the kiosk. And Connie's move in to find Strever. So the back line of Quick falling apart here behind Hattori while she's trying to hold the line. Still plenty of time to work with, but it's back to the drawing board on this one. Strever didn't come off of that Zenyatta, by the way. After getting that Transcendence Force, it's onto a brig here. Push through this final stretch through Grand Central Station. up in the sky to find that first kill and ties to a venom mine unlucky it's just johan and both supports left There's the investment down low, the orbital ray. Both teams joining their orbital ray, but immediately a Tori is going to find one. Rides a second with the Terra Surge. Gotti moves in to at least get one trade out, but Quick has taken this fight. Good focus fire. Connie just muscled all the way to the back. Look, that's barely sticking out. <laughs> I thought that that might have been sticking out enough to get sightline on a Hattori, but. Alas, they are okay. Kind of still stuck back here, though. Quick decided to just ignore the demon. They're going to go to try to kill the squishies instead. Now turn their attention back on to Connie. They've been kind of kept to that high ground. Uses the dash out. Gets the kill in right as fate throws in the torpedoes. It ends up being a quick sandwich. Quick's going to get a little bit of space off of this. Even a kill or two. But that is going to be it. They do not make it around this final corner. Suddenly, that four-minute time bank is down to two, and things are feeling a little bit more uh, under pressure. Here, for quick. Under pressure. Doom, 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 doom. All right, spade ring in here for Tori. Lauren just playing right out in the middle. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to draw the ire of Hev real quick in that position. Rally up from Strever, trying to bounce up around this wall. 
Quick looking for any way to get in. They don't have Lord in the battlefield. They're going back over to a May, as a matter of fact, to come back in. See if they can find any entrance. Ooh, came with a pick on a QRXU, though. Somehow sneaks underneath the skin of this defense. Enough to find the Widowmaker. Now Lauren's back in the 5v4, favoring quick on this attack. While trying to block our sightline, but it won't block Kins. As they're able to pick up a pair of kills, both on the supports and in the back. Lauren Array has been invested here from the defense Wasp. Sides from QRXU. 1.26 meters to go. Up into the window. Can you find anything? Can you put a stop to Quick's Ray? No! Hattori will vacate you out of the window. Whoa. Three on the board for Hattori. Oh, it gets two with the self-destruct. That's a 5k from Hattori to put Quick on match point. Dropping the Poco in chat. Yeah, I respect it. Yeah, let's show me that 5k again. <laughs> what a way to end the map. What a way to end the map. Absolutely amazing. Uh, let's see. That's still map one. Come on, show me some map two stats. There are some map two stats. A Tory with 41 kills throughout that. 18k damage. Leading in both elims and damage. Down the board. Look at that beautiful 5k to close it out. A lot of a lot of tank roulette going on in this one, huh? We, I mean, we've seen Diva, Orisa, Ramatra, Junker Queen, and we're only two maps in. Anything else stand out to y'all? 31 and 33 kills here for the DPS side. Ken and Lauren having a fantastic series. All right. Now it's Coliseo Band out here for map number three out of Quick could be Wasp's map pick. As we get into push. We are headed to Runasapi here for map map three. No changes. No changes in roster. As we get one of my favorite map songs, particularly of the new maps. Map music for Runasapi. So good. So good. All right. Let's get a map three. Whoops. That is not map three. That's map three. Quick esports on match point. Looking to close it out here. Okay, we get something a little different here out of Quick Esports. Coming out here with the Maga and the Reaper. Or Wasp prepared for this, certainly doesn't look like it is. 
They are immediately on the back foot and scrambling to try to deal with this incredibly quick assault coming in. Oh, but they deal. They deal indeed. As they catch the aggression, punish Lauren. Now 4v4 here in this first fight. The 4v4 will take place right in the middle. The overrun in to try to block the heals on Nakani. Yeah, a lot of attention put down onto that tank while simultaneously trying to keep Hev from taking Shrubber down in the back line. Shrubber's able to stay alive, but Ken cannot. Tori not able to find the kill there in the back. Ends up being a trade onto those DPS, but both tanks still standing. They're trying to prevent a fall. I think thought Connie was going to try to chase up. So Tori just blocks that. And then he uses Gunner and Cha Cha. Keep everybody at bay. Orbital Ray in here from Wasp to kick things off. Rampage thrown in as well. On the Hattori, that is going to cut so much sustain. And the Moggle cannot survive without having to use that Cardiac Overdrive, without being able to get the support they need. Trevor's still going to try to win this out using this rally. And Ken's found Hev. But Ken and Yohem are both very low. Ken case down LP before they fall, though. So no supports left standing here. And it looks like Trevor might be able to hold the line. Checkpoint picked up here for quick. Close spawns and that delay, both in their favor. Window maneuver here out of Wasp. They try to get QRQ set up up here, but Tori comes in. Bionade lands, but the cage is off. That's three caught in it, and the death blossom to boot. The wombo combo, if I've ever seen one. And it's quick just delivering this tornado of death. Caged in. Cassie says, I highly recommend Abso versus Tanuki. Okay. Uh, I think we were, we've were we already got um, Fluffy Dreamland versus O3 Splash slated for tonight's matchup. Ooh, that was a hell of an overrun. As it, it knocked QRQ off the high ground and forced him right down in the middle where Ken is going to clean up with the back half of that blade. Nano thrown into Connie to try to turn this around. Immediately gets one pick as the Tori falls between them and Hev, but Warren has already found a pair. Oop. That's a lot of death. That's a good rampage. Found at least two. It didn't look like Yohem was purple. I could have swore that hit Yohem. Either way, it works out. We've got it. Let's go. Wasp will... Eh, eh, get me out of there. Thank you. Let's start to get a little progress here on this barricade. on in the array, so over the way thrown through the building, and Tori's just going to keep moving forward with it. You him already picking up one as Lawrence uses that teleport into the back. Oh, here comes the response! <laughs> oh, the sleep! The sleep on the Lauren and the orbital ray here through the, uh, the donut shop. Another good fight win here for Wasp. Is this going to be enough to get him the checkpoint? Certainly looks like it. Wait. Wait a minute. Quick stole that away. But we're way on the other side. All right, rally up here from Quick. <laughs> they look to do it again. Was trying to chase down Connie with that rally while Hitori went to go find the squishies. Terra Search on the point from the ladder does fine. He'll be take some of the sustain out of this fight. With that, Hitori is going to find Connie as well. So, Bot will end up rolling right back in Quick's favor. No progress picked up there from Wasp.
So Wasp will once again have to earn this ground back and have to try to fight for Window if they even want to face Lauren here. Looks like they're going to opt out of that. They'll keep Hev up in the window. Nope, never mind. Now with the Nano in, all attention has been turned to the front line and try to muscle Hitori down. Yohan responds with the Orbital Ray and Hitori gets tossed right back up. But QRHU manages to find a pick on a Strepper instead. Follows it up and kill on the Yohan. There's no more supports left here for quick. Ken with a late blade. Found a pair. Oh, gets the dash through the kill on the QRHU as well. It's a 1v1 on this point between Hev and Hitori. Hitori tried to protect the blade. Can't get the spear in. But still is just chasing Hev around like a mosquito. Uh oh, Lauren's showing back up. Yep. What a blade on a kid! Like that looked that looked absolutely unwinnable. I mean, I think that was a three v five at one point. I mean, it, it was it was pretty quick there when the kills started going back and forth, but absolutely a fight from behind. Orbital Ray invested in this 5v3 here from Wasp just to ensure that they can get back to their side of the map. Or out of their side of the map. I guess it depends on how you look at it. The Ken's still hiding way in the back line. I think it was hunting QRXU. Meanwhile, Connie and uh, Hitori have met here right at center space. Hitori just says, no, I don't want that fight. I want to go back here and terror search your squishies. They'll be with no health left. Not a chance to survive that. And another big ultimate out of Hitori. She has just been immaculate with these terror searches. They seem to all find big value. And rarely do you see Hitori fall. I mean, it can be very difficult to run in like that. Uh, and, and be able to survive and come out on top. Take the power position. Take the space away. Tori's such a good job at timing those Terra Surges. But lots of ults available here for Wasp. But they push in the back. Ilby's able to fight off Lauren. Ooh, gets the Nano down just before they die. Uh, did they? Wait, did they? Yeah, I mean, it had to come out. I didn't see where it went, though. Kid with another late blade. Wait, Kid is going to do it again? Kid is actually going to do this again. Nope, never mind. I mean, Kid fought off enough players that Notori has just been up here sneaking out some free meterage. All right, one minute to go. A monstrous lead here for quick. You're actually over the top. See if they can cut some of that lead down. Oof. First, you just got to cut through that massive health bar of the eraser. With an orbital ray out, that's plenty of healing in. But a big bio naming Strepper wasn't getting any of it. Lauren with the Death Blossom is able to find one. And Kitten picks up one as well. Through the space lasers, it's a trade back and forth. 3v3 on the point, but really good focus fire. Quick is able to isolate, create a mismatch, but they sacrifice Johan to make it happen. Once again, we're down to minimal players left on this point, but I don't think there's any way. The two DPS muscled down the Eraser. You're going to push this bot? Where are you pushing the bot? Oh, you're going to regroup down here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see it. I see the vision, Quick. Give themselves this alley to work with is Ken and Atori move into the back line. Just kind of circle around the rest of the team. Yeah, look how far Quick have moved off of the bot to intercept Wasp and just make to their strongest positions not even available, not able to play that corner, play that sight line. Hev is just in a desperation move to run away with this thing, but Quick have got it under control. They'll lock up this Ares 3 0. They'll move up to 8 and 1 on the season. Both VP and Quick coming out with dubs here today. So, no changes there at the top of the ladder. Still, uh, only one loss between those top two teams in the division.
Lauren with the crazy swap on to the Raper. Found value right out of the gate. A big one here. What a wombo combo. That's fun. I don't care who you are, all right? That's a fun combo. That's a fun combo. Let's get some stats here from Map 3. And I'll go get... Hey, that's not the right... There we go. That's the screen I wanted. All right, let's go get that third point of the board there for quick. ka -chow. That's right. I said ka -chow.